Oscar De La Hoya has been strolling on a tight RPP since Virgil Ortiz Jr. crushed Sir Bahacic, shot hurt by the overhand. The strain between De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, which had been building, ejected after that battle. Yet, what truly struck the match wasn't simply a grading between the two. It was Floyd Mayweather hopping into the discharge, pouring fuel on their generally warmed quarrel. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, and this time it got individual Mayweather known for continuously expressing his genuine thoughts, chose to go after De La Hoya while moving. Up Hopkins in a warmed live, Floyd didn't keep down the Oscars barely. Around here pursuing cash that is all he's at any point been about, look, everybody realizes it, he'll sell out whoever any place on the off chance that it implies one more dollar in his pocket. He ain't got no genuine steadfastness to the game any longer, it's just about. His pockets De La Hoya was about the cash as per Mayweather in any event. When it came to Virgil battling Bahachik Turkey, Alal Sheikh has as of late been tossing battles for his inclined toward warriors with De La Hoya's fingerprints all around those arrangements. Something extraordinary, no. Doubt something uniquely great, and perhaps he gets back. Floyd continued to pound De La Hoya for that it's unmistakable. Oscar's playing the game. He doesn't mind at all who wins or loses as long as he actually look at clears. That is the reason he's so profound with Turkey. Tossing battles left and right like it's not a problem, it ain't about heritage for him any longer, it's just about changing out, experiencing difficulty, finding Mayweather, there'll be a ton of that and Oscar's doing an excellent occupation of killing Floyd didn't stop there, he got individual taking it further by hitting at Oscar's standing, you believe Oscar's worried about boxing any longer, nay, nah. he's worried about whatever gets him on that next personal luxury plane, whatever gets him the following chateau, that is who he is, all the fabulousness it went to his head quite some time ago. I'm moving Hopkins 100%, essentially Bernard's still in it for the contenders, what's Oscar in it for the dollar signs? This was the very kind of assault that Oscar De La Hoya wouldn't accept without a fight. The brilliant kid wasn't going to allow Floyd to attack his personality and drag his name through the mud easily, so De La Hoya shot back, and he discharged back hard, consistently talking like 1.8 million, you know. About the way things are in his very own live stream, Oscar got straight to the point. Floyd's talking like he realizes me, like he understands what I'm about, please. Assuming anybody's been pursuing cash their entire profession. It's him. Floyd's whole vocation was worked around enormous cash battles pay. Her perspectives and ensuring his financial balance was greater than his self-image. He's resigned, yet all he does is parade his abundance like it's something special to be glad for Oscar wasn't done. Look, better believe it, I found real success. I brought in cash, yet I've additionally rewarded. This game more than Floyd at any point. Well, while he's around here discussing heritage and how Bernard's the main genuine one remaining, he fails to remember all that I've worked with. Brilliant kid, I've given endless warriors a stage and open door. How has Floyd helped the game with? The exception of gloat about how much cash he's made. De La Hoya's words cut profound, particularly when he reversed the situation on Floyd's help of Hopkins. And concerning Hopkins, sure, Bernard's a legend. No question, except for don't come at me like I'm the miscreant here. We've had our conflicts, yet that is among me and him. Floyd's hopping. In attempting to behave like he understands what's happening, he doesn't. He's only searching for one more method for remaining significant. De La Hoya then. At that point, went for the takeout punch. Floyd has the nerve to discuss cash, a similar person who can't go. Day without reminding the world the amount he's worth. He couldn't care less about. Boxing any dislike I do. I've committed my life to this game. I'm still in it. Battling for warriors. Giving them open doors. Floyd's around here. And involved talking from his house. His grandiose talk from somebody who's been out of the game. The lives trade was unstable with both Floyd and... Oscar exchanging verbal punches like it was a title battle. Enthusiasts of the two contenders were stuck to their screens, standing by to see who might land the following shot. Look, Turkey is attempting to make the best battles that everyone needs to see, yet the intensity wasn't just about words at the center. It was about the fate of boxing and the genuine purposes for their activities. Floyd's allegation that De La Hoya was tied too intimately with the cash and impact of Turkey Alec tossing battles. His incline toward contenders struck a nerve regardless of whether there was truth that the harm was done. Oscar's protection, however energetic, was additionally layered with dissatisfaction at Floyd as well as at the whole story being twirled around him for the present. It's muddled where things go next yet. One thing is sure, Floyd Mayweather backing Bernard Hopkins, Oscar De La Hoya detonating with his blazing reaction, a quarrel simply beginning or very much began quite some time ago. Floyd, who again it resembles, it resembles the it resembles that contention, the antagonist and the hero, you know it's as of late that Oscar De La Hoya gave commendation on the one who took his compensation per view crown, yet avoided lawing Floyd Mayweather's record.
the brilliant kid manager, while recognizing Mayweather's strength in the ring clarified that he wasn't completely sold on the undefeated 50-0 record, Floyd made good decisions if in the event that there was on the off chance that there was ever a victor in Las Vegas. It's Floyd. It's Floyd. La Jolla gave Mayweather his props for being the best warrior of his age, perceiving his fantastic expert profession that crossed from 1996 to 2017 yet even. In his recognition, Oscar had a few reservations, especially when it came to the manner in which Mayweather fabricated his vocation. De La Hoya uncovered his aversion of the Mayweather recipe of singling out when to confront his rivals, a scrutinize that has followed Floyd all through his profession. The brilliant kid recommended that Mayweather's undefeated run wasn't only because of his massive expertise, yet additionally in light of the fact that he tried not to confront specific warriors at the level of their vocations. I believe Floyd's an astonishing contender, no question about that Oscar began proceeding with caution, yet he didn't take on the very best warriors thriving that irritates me. He was key shrewd, yes, yet as a warrior, my mindset was generally to confront the best, the hardest difficulties. Floyd didn't necessarily in all cases do that his 50 record is great, yet assuming he had battled a portion of these folks. Prior potentially anything could have occurred, and I have twofold obligation, and it's like very diverting, I'm an old 33-year-old fighter, and yet I actually need to battle the best of La Jolla's analysis wasn't new. Numerous in the boxing scene have tossed comparable allegations at Mayweather. Over the course of the years, in spite of his triumphs over a portion of the game's greatest names, his resume flaunts prevails upon Canelo Alvarez, Miguel Cate, Shane Mosley, Yuro Gatti, and Manny Pacquiao yet. Naysayers like De La Hoya contend that a considerable lot of those wins came when his rivals were over the hill, and one thing that makes Mayweather baffling to battle, he'll land these right hands, yet he won't participate in the slugfest you're actually getting hit with six and set. Oscar didn't stop there during a meeting De La Hoya, kept on pondering Mayweather's vocation, addressing whether individuals genuinely value him while he's still around. I think not, Oscar said obtusely when Sharp inquired as to whether. Mayweather gets sufficient credit. What happens is we don't understand how magnificent of an individual or competitor somebody is until it's past the point of no return, until they're either gone or a lot more seasoned. We don't do our examination. We don't concentrate on their professions enough. It's consistently simpler to mark them extraordinary when they're as of now not at the center of attention. Um, at the time, better believe it was the unprecedented compensation per view you um. I assume I think we produced something like near a Lynn, like near 400 million. It was an unobtrusive gesture to Floyd's polarizing presence in the game, a man who has reliably been both celebrated and censured for Oscar. The reverence for Mayweather's abilities was rarely being Referred to yet, it was the way Floyd explored his vocation that left a harsh taste. But La Jolla dug further in addressing Mayweather's strategic way to deal with battle choice. I think Floyd was savvy in his profession. He didn't hang on too lengthy, he got out before. Youthful lion could come in and bring him down. That is excellent, yet here's what he didn't battle everybody he ought to have thriving. He tried not to take a portion of the greater dangers, and I get it's a business yet. That is not the way in which I saw the game I talked about with the brilliant kid. We believe that should accomplish something in the in the main week in September. Assuming it's accessible, Oscar's point of view on boxing was different, practically old school for him. The genuine trial of a warrior was venturing into the ring with the best. No matter what the gamble to one's record in my profession, I needed to battle the best regardless of the results that made the game energizing for me. Yet with Floyd, there's continuously going to be the contention that he evaded specific battles when they were at their pinnacle. Take Pacquiao. For instance, individuals will constantly say that battles ought to have happened before.